All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak. I have the Great Millstone, Atlanta Camp. Before I get started, I give all the glory, infinite praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well enough to see his tabernacle of David. And Shalom, I'll talk to sincere brothers that's pushing teaching truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, Shalom, I'll talk to sincere believers out there. All right, just um, here with an article, you know, titled, If It Wasn't For This. We'll probably go hungry. Car line stretches more than a mile at Fair Park few food giveaway. And this article is from August 11, 2020. All right, 2020 being the year of prophecy. And I want to play this video. All right, I'm going to play this video real quick. It's about I think it's about uh, two minutes long. But it's heavy. You know, it's heavy. And this is a prophecy update. For another... The cars stretched for more than a mile. Families lined up at Fair Park today for another huge food distribution. Our Robbie Owens is at Fair Park. As the cars formed a well-organized queue. I actually, I live in West Dallas, but I came this far just to get the help. Each told a story. If it wasn't for this, we'd probably go hungry. Of families navigating crisis. You know, there's, there's times I open that refrigerator and there's, there's little there, you know, but again, we make do with what, uh, what we can and we make it stretch. Diana King has taken in her daughter and her family. Um, I think we got six, because um, it's three families. Um, my friend, uh, we've been friends since we were little girls. Uh, her family, her daughter uh, lives in another location and then my family, and there's seven in my family. So she says every dollar that these boxes save helps them hold on. Uh, it helps pay a bill mm -hmm. so that the water doesn't get turned off, the gas doesn't get turned off. Uh, mortgage, we're, we're right there on borderline. And Organizers tell me they plan to distribute enough food to support 2,000 families here this morning. But the process here appears to have been much smoother. No one waiting in line for hours to get those needed food boxes. A walk-up portion served several hundred more. Anytime you have an economic crisis, you're going to have a food crisis. It's very easy to compromise on food and nutrition because you've got to make that rent payment, you've got to make that car payment. So that's why we're out here today is so that we can help those folks that need food assistance. I'm thankful today that we made it out here and we'll be able to feed our families. It's a blessing that they had this. All right, so yeah, you see the point, man. You see the point. Hey, the world starvation is increasing. It's increasing on the earth, and this is prophecy, man. All right, famine. Famine is real, okay? Famine is is, is truly real, all right? It's, it's currently real right now, you know, and it's written in the Bible, all right? This is Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. You see these people in those long lines, man. You know, the AD, these people, this is in, that was in Dallas, Texas, okay? These people are, this is a serious matter at hand. People waiting in hours, you know, uh, long lines at, at, the, at the food bank, you know, while, while they have food, all right? It says the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? See, and that's the, in this, in this famine, you know, in this, in this, in this case with the uh, event in Dallas, Texas, all right? You know, this is the Lord plaguing this place. This is the Lord sending evils upon this place, man. Great mornings. People are, 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 are losing jobs. You know, they're depressed. You know, they're stuck. They don't know what to do. Getting evicted. About to, about to get evicted out of homes if these relief programs don't start back up. You know, hey, times are getting real, man. Evils are coming. You know, and when people can't eat, hey, that's a, the people going to lose their minds. All right. Verse, nine, verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. See, the Lord is, is plaguing this place to, to put correction and to humble these people, man. Okay? All right, this is for, it's for correction, for you, especially for you black, Spanish, and Native Americans, man. It's for your punishment because you didn't turn back and you repent to Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Okay? Why, why you had uh, liberty, why you had free, freedom and time to do so. All right? And you still do. It's, it's, it's not too late. All right, verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. See, with all this going on, people still not give a damn about the Lord, man. People still not seeking answers. Why is this happening? Why is this? Why? Well, what about this and that? You know, you're not seeking from, seeking from the right people, from Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushua, and truly through the mouthpiece of the prophets, man. They're seeking through the, this voting system, through the government, through Joe Biden, through uh, Trump, 
do Camilla Harris, you know, whatever, man. All right, they're not mindful of, of the amendment, of the correction. All right, verse 21. Behold, mm, behold, the victory shall be so good cheap upon earth. And you seen the lady in the video in the video, what she say? She said, This is this helps pay a bill, man. You know? So I, I'm guessing it is it may be free food or at a very low price, okay, at the food bank. Okay, and they're doing this to help people. Okay, they they and they're, they're only gonna be able to help for but for so long, man. It can't it can't go on forever. All right, the Lord is gradually, uh, gradually putting this place to an end, putting the mirth and the joy of this place to an end, man. All right, they so like continuing on says that they shall think themselves to be in a good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. These people are greatly confused. They don't know what to do, man. All right, famine, starvation is near. It is here, and it's increasing. Sword, that sword is going to come with people losing their mind, man. And, it, and part of that is going to come through that famine. All right. Verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Perish you. It means you're going to die. Dying of starvation because of famine. Because of the lack of food, man. All right. As you see, as you see in, that, in that case in Dallas, Texas. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. So, hey, this, in this case, the scripture is simply so, saying that you, if you don't die star, by starvation, you're going to die through, through another way, man. You're gonna die by getting uh by Esau Edom, you know, coming down with martial law through through these troops coming in, kicking down your door, putting you to death by the sword, man. By maybe 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 through a guillotine, a gruesome death, a torture, you know. Verse twenty three, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, like a hey, hey, shit, man, laying in the street, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city and the city shall be cast down. All right. Hey, this place is about to be greatly humbled. It is getting greatly humbled right now. You know? Let's get 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. It's getting, it's, it's getting humbled, man. This place is getting humbled. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. In this case right here, man, it's through the lack of food. It's through the famine. You know, people, people are about to get, get put very low. All right? 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them. That in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Yeah, all these cities, man, America, definitely America, man, all right, have walked in great pride. You can't tell America shit. You can't tell these people shit, all right, especially the black Spanish Native Americans, a rebellious nation, man, all right? The Lord is stretching out his arm right now through the, through the prophets, man, through his message, through this gospel, through this good news, Okay? But you people don't give a damn because you walked in great pride. You walked in a very arrogant mindset, man. That's why he's about to. Bring, that's why he's bringing these great miseries up unto you. All right, one one being the lack of food, man. This famine. All right, verse fifty one. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory of such as be like thee, for unto you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, the time is to to come is prepared, plentiness. Is made ready, a city is built, and rest is allowed. Yeah, perfect goodness and wisdom. Okay, the root of evil is sealed up from you, weakness and the moth is hid from you, and the corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. Sorrows are past in the end, and in the end is showed the treasure of immortality. So, yeah, the kingdom is on the other side through with all these plagues, these great evils upon the earth right now. And the kingdom of heaven, internal life, okay, is, is, is on the other side, man, living forever. Being having rulership over these other nations, having them in slavery, okay, that that did that did uh wrong to us, okay, recompense it to them, man. That's gonna be their reward, all right. And it's gonna and that's gonna be our reward, man. <laughs> you know, this is the understanding, man. This is it. Once you humble yourself down to the gospel, to the good news, you can receive the truth, man. Understand the 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 uh, reason why everything is happening, the reason why this famine is like a like a food is happening to you people out there, man. Especially in Dallas, Texas, you know that yeah, that's real, man. You know that that is that's a real scenario, okay. And then for you scoffers and you shit talkers, of course, you know you have to balance it out with you know for you uh rebuttals for you for you people rebuttals because y'all know we we know you will say what what the hell you gonna do when that time come? Hey man, you gotta trust you gotta trust in the Lord, man. We want we we know we have to trust in the Lord, okay. This is Psalm chapter thirty three verse eighteen. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. See, the eye, he's watching us, man. The Lord has his angels protecting us. The angels encamped around them that fear him, man. 
See, upon them that hope in his mercy. See, and we hope that we receive mercy from Yahweh Bashmi outside. We understand that's our only way out of this, man. Okay? It's not of our own will. It's of it's of the it's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's will, man. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and Yahweh Shah being his only begotten sons, our Savior's true name, man. All right. Verse 19. This is the point. To deliver their soul from death, to keep them alive in famine. See? And we have to have faith, a day. He's going to keep us alive in famine. He's going to give us a way to survive, man. Okay? We may, we may not be as comfortable as we as we ought as as we as where we want to be. But hey, to be able to, to, to be able to be alive and survive is, is that's all gonna matter, man. That's all that's gonna matter. You know? Verse 20, our soul waited for, for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. See? And that's what's gonna matter too, man. Calling upon the, the Lord's true name. Not just saying God, not just saying uh the most high. No, saying Yahweh Bashim Shai and having faith when calling upon that name, especially in times like this, man. In the times of famine increasing, and in and in in really going to be times of people dying of starvation. That's what we're coming into, man. That's and that's prophecy. You know, that's according to the Bible. You know, these are real. These are real times, man. But you know, people, you people are not going. You're not going to understand through these words alone. You're gonna to have to feel. You're gonna to have to feel that pain. You're gonna to have to. You, that's why you're gonna to have to die through that pain, man. Death, death by pain shall they know it. You know, then you're going to know that these times are real. Oh, damn, the Hebrew Israelites was right. They were correct. You know, damn, they, they, they warned us about these prophecies. All right. Hey, but it's going to be too late. You know, that's why you want to seek Yahweh by Shemiah Shah while he is near, man, while he may be found. Okay. Because these, these are serious times, man. This is not no laughing matter. It's not a joke. All right. But. Hey, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying, exhorting, concerning the famine, concerning the lack of food, prophecy, according to the Bible. All right. And I'm going to end up by giving all the glory, infinite praise unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Kadash, the double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and rule with no overseas tabernacle of David. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, keep the faith, Ababa, Shalom.